I am starting this process by mixing what I'm going to call an atmosphere. This is going to be a big pot of my um, atmospheric color that I combine with um, the two colors, the top band and the bottom band. Remember to make complicated colors. I'm using, for, you don't need to do the same, but I'm using the Thalo, Hansa, and Magenta to make a more complicated uh, blue atmosphere. Here I have my two colors that I have mixed for the top, for the top band and then the bottom band. Um, they're both toned. They, these, color, these two colors, I think, include um, probably four, maybe five different colors in their mixture. So remember, we're not using tube colors um, to tone all your colors. You also have to remember to standardize your blues and your magenta before mixing these. Um, and the idea is that we're going to start mixing a pure, using this pure, these, these untainted uh, colors at the top and bottom band, and then slowly add mix in your atmospheric color um, as, as the bands get smaller. Here we go. Use your spray bottle to keep those piles of paint uh, act moist while you're working. Um, use tape. Tape is not optional. Um, get yourself tape. Don't start without it. Uh, and then remember we're going for nice even bands or even films of paint on that surface. Um, we don't want uh, variation of color so make sure you put a nice solid layer of paint down on that paper. I just leave this dry and um, I am going to put another coat of paint on there. You can see um, there's show through. So even though that's blurry, I don't know why it's not focusing, um, but there is, there we go. Uh, I want to make sure I have a real even layer of paint so those um, inconsistencies in the color are not distracting. I'm now going into this top, the top of the two little bands, and I'm going to paint my pure atmospheric color in there. And then I'm going to add mix up with the other, towards the other color. Hopefully not three. Nothing ruins the illusion of space like little um, bits of the paper peeking through your in between your colors. So make sure when you go to the next color and tape off that section that you don't you know, put it up too high and have a little sliver of white in there. That is a real bummer. So um, make sure that you get that tape in the right place and that you really have it budding right up against the edge of that other color. Better to have it go over a tiny bit than the other way. Here's my original lower band color and I'm mixing in some of that atmospheric color to try to get the next step um, as it goes as it goes up the page. Now um, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six bands heading up towards this um, atmosphere color. So that you just keep that in mind when you think about your pacing. You don't want it to go 
too slow and you don't want it to go too fast. You, the, the goal is that by the time you get up to those um, skinnier bands towards the horizon, it really has quite a lot. You know, the, the mixture has really shifted almost entirely to that one. So it's a pretty, it's gonna be a fairly um, drastic step in between those bands of color. It can be hard to know because we're trying to make an even step, even steps in um, in the shift between the two colors. So remember, you can hold up your palette knife when you're mixing just to see how it compares. But then again, that's kind of tricky because you got to remember it's going to dry darker than um, it is when it's wet. I'm just like you. I don't like to waste this blue tape. So I did, you can use it twice. See, I use this side. It, it kind of starts failing if you try to go more than two times. Um, and because we are going to mount, uh, cut this out at the end and mount it, I did start just using the tape on the edge that's gonna be visible. So in this case, we're gonna cut off these sides so I didn't tape them. Here we are with the finished product. Well, not quite finished, right? Because um, after you finish painting it, you're going to cut it out and mount it on a full piece of paper. Um, just so that you don't make the same mistake that I made, I am wishing, you know, next time I did this, I would have made more of that atmospheric color because you have to add it into your other two colors and I was getting very, it was getting very scarce by the end of the um, project. So make sure that you mix yourself a good amount of that atmospheric color, whatever yours is.